Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to check out Malakov's Band of Brutality. This is a new mythic item that will launch with the Greymore chapter. If you want to know where it drops, link in the description, it's already on ezo-sets.com. We will do a few tests on this thing because there is a few questions that we have to ask when we use this. So what does it do? Increases your damage done by 25%. That's a lot. But... You cannot deal critical damage. So I can already say for PvE this set or like this mythic item is not good. Because PvE really relies on critical damage. For PvP that's a different story. How good will it be? For example in battlegrounds where champion points are deactivated or in non-champion points Cyrodiil. This will be very powerful first off. It will amp up your proc sets which already don't critical critically damage or like they can crit and you usually have a very low critical rating like spell crit or weapon crit or whatever your build is in non-champion points because it's just harder to actually get that so when it's already low malakov is like a blessing and you will get 25 percent more damage that's kind of nuts it will be very powerful there. How does it look for champion points, Surudil? Because a lot of people have maybe 40, 50% weapon crit or like spell crit. So do I really want to lose the critical damage? That depends who you're fighting with. If you're fighting enemies that don't have a lot of critical resistance, yes, it will not be very good to have this. However, most players that are well geared will have critical resistance around like two and a half K to three K. So let me explain it like this. A normal critical hit is your normal non crit damage times 1.5. But if you have around 3200 or 3300, that extra modifier from your critical damage will actually be kind of negated or useless because you have critical resistance. So your crit hit will do as much damage as your non-crit hit. If a player has a lot of critical resistance. Therefore, yes, Malakov's Band of Brutality can actually become very powerful. Because it doesn't matter anyway, I rather boost all my non-crit damage against enemies that have high critical resistance anyway and most players that have some sort of understanding of the game will have a high critical resistance and players that don't run crit resistance usually die anyway no matter whether you actually crit or you can crit so once again this can be very powerful now how does it fit into a build it doesn't fit into any build like into every build but on my setup here the stamina dragonite build i already updated this on the website i run two balorg then i have clever alchemist on my sword and board defense bar on the back bar when i swap to my front bar damage bar i have new moon acolyte and then i actually have two pieces endurance so when i'm in combat to benefit from my alchemist bonus 675 weapon damage for 20 seconds i can simply activate this swap to my front bar and the weapon damage will stay it's not a problem like i can get super high up and then when balog proc procs i'm over 6k with extra penetration so i don't need this to be active on my damage bar and i still have my two pieces endurance in addition that only works if you have two sets which you can swap around. So one is active on the back bar, one on the front bar. Now how can I place Malakov? It's not that hard. I just remove my Endurance and I place Malakov here and one more Alchemist piece. That will give me 25% more damage and an additional bonus on the Alchemist. My Alchemist so I will have... 129 extra weapon damage which i didn't have before 
I will have 6 pieces alchemist on my back bar, but it doesn't matter, there is nothing better to slot. So on my damage bar, I will have extra weapon damage and 25%, that's just crazy. So you need to decide for yourself whether it's worth it or not. How does this thing work? Does it work on healing as well? Like can you actually get crits on your heal or is that completely gone? Let's quickly check that. Let me get some damage in my face. I'm using Vigor. 1.3k crits. 2k. Uh, sorry, 1.3k non-crit and 2k crits. So yes. You can still get crit heals. It really only affects 3.6k crit. It really only affects your damage and nothing else. That's what that's what makes this thing even better. Kinda crazy. There's a few other things. Arterial burst from vampire. I'm usually not a vampire on this setup, but just to showcase. This ability has a special effect. If you use this ability while you're under 50% health, it will always be a critical strike. Is that still the case with Malakov? So let's find out. Let me drain my health. There we go. I'm below 50. Non-crit. Non-crit. All non-crit. Let me try this a little bit more. There we go. All non-crits. I don't really have a high spell crit, but by now it should actually have critted. So, it doesn't work. Same thing for acuity, like mechanical acuity, which guarantees you crit hits for a short duration. It will not work. So this really is like universal. But it's only for damage and not for healing. So yes. On the build, on the website... My primary setup is without the Malakas band because it's pretty hard to get. But I have a secondary setup where I will allow you to actually run this. And it's pretty much self-explanatory from there. Let me know in the comment section below if you have already done some testing with this mythic item. Make sure to not forget to subscribe and here's a few other videos that you can watch. Thank you and see you soon. Cheers.